I ask you about love. Probably quote me a song. But you'd never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. Oh my God, what an angel on earth just for you. Could rescue you from the depths of hell. And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode. If you're a current supporter of my channel, I apologize for not being able to get a video out in a while. I've been working and freelancing and I'm also restoring a 1979 camper trailer so that I can go out and uh, make videos and take images out in nature a lot more and travel a bit. So I'm working on that renovation. But enough about my boring ass life. Let's get into this video. A few weeks ago, my girlfriend and I and her friends who were visiting from New York headed up to Yellowstone National Park and it was her friend Anna's birthday so we we're going up there and celebrating her birthday as well and we we're only there for two days well three days but two days in the park and so we really had to hit all the spots if you haven't been to Yellowstone it's a huge park it takes several hours just to drive around the whole thing so you really have to plan out where to go so that you can get the most out of it and in two short days we really we're just driving and kind of going to the, some spots. So I wasn't able to plan out all the images I wanted to make, but I was still able to get some really cool shots. I brought along with me this Ryko Flex um, twin lens reflex medium format camera. And then I was shooting Portra 400 using this little plastic holder that holds 35 millimeter film so that you can put it into a medium format camera. And you might be thinking, why would you put 35 millimeter film in a medium format camera? And that's just because you can get a different aspect ratio that's pretty unique. So this camera uh, shoots film from the top down, pulls film here. And so the roll of 35 millimeter, let me grab one here, just sits like this. So you can expose it uh, a bit longer and because it pulls it from the top down, you get these really unique and cool vertical aspect ratio. And then because all of the 35 millimeter film is light sensitive, as the emulsion, you are able to expose all the way to the edges over the sprocket holes, which kind of creates a cool look too. So we rolled up to our camp. We were staying in a canvas, under canvas type uh, camp. Then the next day we celebrated my girlfriend's friend's birthday and had a little celebration there at camp. Now, if you haven't been to Yellowstone before, it is the most crowded and biggest park and nature area, national park in the country. And it takes hours just to drive it around. We are stuck in traffic entering the park for an hour and a half, just sitting in traffic, just to get into the park. So we just went straight to hit up some main attractions because we only had uh, two days to see some spots around the park. Plus all the time in traffic and driving around really eats up the day. So we headed to Old Faithful and using this long aspect ratio, this vertical, I wanted to get a shot where the Old Faithful geyser goes off and I can kind of capture it across the roll. It shoots up so it kind of matched the um, aspect ratio very well and as uh, a crowd of I don't know 10 million people so I was lucky enough to just get a shot and then I took two just to be safe. Not a lot about this trip from a photography taking photo perspective was ideal. Um, you know, I had a great time, it was awesome. And I, I just didn't have time to like focus on photography on this particular trip. So I just kind of took pictures along the side of the road. Luckily, Yellowstone is full of bison and I was able to get a lot of cool shots of the bison just by parking on the road and like walking into the field and stuff while maintaining a safe distance.
Most of my shots were taken in the middle of the day with harsh light, no clouds or anything, which I don't prefer. I like more soft light or interesting kind of lighting, but that's okay because film has a way of making any condition look a little bit more special and unique. So I was still able to make some shots that I really liked. And then I got some shots of a waterfall, the lower falls, I think, but I wasn't able to get the shot I wanted because I couldn't find the right viewpoint in time. There's so many places to park and we we're running out of daylight and had to, had to head back to camp. So I still got the shots, but I wasn't, um, I know this viewpoint that's closer looking down at the waterfall and I wanted to get it from there, but that's okay. I was still able to get a really cool shot of the waterfall. So and then I got a few other images on the roll, so uh, on the way back I had some left over, so here are all the rest of the images that I shot. So that's a wrap on my trip to Yellowstone. I will be making more videos in the coming weeks and months. I recently went on a road trip up to the Pacific Northwest and I shot 4x5 large format sheet film using the Toyo View camera I have for the first time. So I'll have a video about that coming out, so stay posted. Um, click the bell icon below if you haven't subscribed already so that you get notified so you don't miss that video when it comes out. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.